Crash.net's weekly debate series. I'm joined by Lewis Larkin, and today we're going to talk about McLaren's resurgence in 2019. So, a little over seven years ago, the team from Woken were battling out for world titles, but from Fernando Alonso's return to the failed Honda partnership, it hasn't been all roses at McLaren for a long time. But since Zach Brown sort of overseeing things and the appointment of Andrea Seidel, 2019 looks much rosier for the team. So, are they on the way back to the big time? I think they are. They're obviously not there yet. Um, there's a long way to go, but the signs have been very encouraging this season. They've made huge progress from last year, and obviously following off the back of the, fair to say, disastrous relationship with Honda, they've really made some good strides. Um, they've got a car that Andrea Seidel has said that is now responding to updates, um, so they're starting to see that correspondence to what they're doing back at the factory in the wind tunnel is now coming onto the track, and they are in a, in a pretty good spot. They're scoring plenty of points. Um, they've scored three double points finishes, two back to back, and for the last two races, they've had the fourth quickest car, quite clearly. Mm. So it's, and, it's promising. And of course, we've got an all new driver lineup line up in Carlos Sainz, who Formula fans will know very well before this year, uh, and Lando Norris, who perhaps not all Formula fans before this year would know a great deal about, but he's been an emerging star for many years. Yeah. How have you seen their partnership go so far this year? I've been very impressed by both of them. Um, they've both taken to the challenge well. Science, we knew, we kind of knew what to expect. He'd had a year at Renault, he'd been battling in the midfield, he'd been doing a very solid job. So no real surprises there. Norris has obviously come in from F2 and has taken to F1 extremely well. He's, he's been, they've been very well matched as well. Um, and both scoring points and performing Mm. As, as the team would hope for, really. Um, so it's been really encouraging. They're an exciting young driver lineup. Yeah, I've got to say, I've been particularly impressed by Lando Norris and how he's adapted to it. He, his, his talent behind the wheel was, was never really doubted through his junior career, but you thought that step up to Formula 1 after just one year in Formula 2 with moderate success, wasn't, didn't sweep the board, but was, was impressive, um, was going to be a big ask, particularly at a team with the prestige of, of McLaren. But couple of races in, he's fighting already with guys that have got way more experience than him. Um, I mean, in, in Austria is a perfect example. First lap he was taking on Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. He joked about it saying that, okay, he was never going to go and, and take the position given the, the performance difference between the cars, but to go and sort of just be out there leading the McLaren charge and ultimately coming home with sixth place, best of the rest, holding off Gasly is is incre incredible considering he's done fewer than 10 race starts so far. It is, he's, he's been incredibly impressive. Um, like you say, he's a guy who had a great track record in juniors. He's won championships every year he's competed until last year. Um, and it was a big step up for him coming into F1, but he, he's, taken, he's taken to that challenge. And like you say, going wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton in Austria on the first lap and not looking phased, not panicking, yeah. sticking it out there. And so looking at the picture wider now, um, Seidel sort of said, that ultimately the best they can hope for is, is this best of the rest tag in, in fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. Do they have to wait until 2021 and the rules shake up or is there anything they can continue progressing on for, for this year and next year? I think that's the best way to look at it. Uh, realistically, as you say, this year fourth place is the best they can hope for, uh, which would, would be a massive improvement on what we've had previously. They finished uh, sixth in the standings last season, um, so fourth would be great progress. Then looking ahead to 2020, it's hard to see them breaking into that top three. I think fourth, you know, really consolidating themselves as the leading midfield team would be a, a great achievement, particularly when they've got Renault supplying their engines and they're currently outperforming the Renault Works teams. So, yeah, I think fourth place for now is, is probably the most realistic target. And Andrea Seidel was speaking actually at length in Austria, saying how how focused the team is on 2021 and how it's imperative that the sport gets those regulations right and therefore the McLaren I think that's that's their target they're looking at 2021 as the time to start getting back to a position to be able to win races and hopefully fight for world championships that's right well it'll be very fascinating to see how the progress of McLaren goes for the next two and three years and who knows they could be fighting for world titles again thanks very much